So we just created a file. Now it'd be nice to see where is that file. And what we're gonna do, either way, whether it was created or it already exists, uh, this file object after this if else, it exists. So whether it was just created or it was already in existence, it's fine. So down here, actually we could probably put this after the catch. It's probably a smart place to put it. Catch, eh, it doesn't matter that much. Uh, let's see what else file can do. Now remember I moved file above the try if I left it, well, let me just go file dot get name just to put some code down here. If I take the declaration of file and put it in the try, you'll see that line 32 just became an error because with the code set up like this, file was created inside the try. It was created in this block, so it will stop existing. You can see the matching bracket here on line 28. So file is created or declared here, it'll stop existing as soon as we leave the try uh, block. That's why if I move it up, we'll uh, avoid that issue where now I can still access file down here. Now obviously if I had a problem creating it, I probably shouldn't be doing other stuff, but it's fine for our code here. I don't wanna get the name, I already know the name, but what I wanna get is the absolute path. And we're just going to scroll down. You can do the get path, and there's a get absolute path, which I'm not seeing. Get absolute path. Okay, so we're going to do both of these. And, of course, I want to print this out. So we'll just put it in this sout right here. And I want the absolute and the relative path. And the relative path is just called the path. So I'm just gonna call it path. Put a new line here. All right, now we should be able to see where this file is located. I'll give you a big hint. It's gonna be very close to where your actual NetBeans project is. And we can see the absolute path and the regular relative path. So here's the absolute path. Now, if you're on Mac, it's going to look different. All your slashes are going to go the correct way. On Windows, they all go the backwards way. Uh, and on Windows, you're going to have a drive letter colon. Most likely, it'll be C colon, but it might be D, E, F, some other letter. So you can see right here... This, what I have highlighted is the NetBeans project directory. And then it's also inside another directory called file access. Now I wanna warn you, I built a Maven. If you're building ANT, I believe what I have highlighted won't be here. Your, whatever file you built will be inside of your project folder. And that's fine too, but this is where your file is. Now if you wanna to browse to where it is, You'd highlight everything up to the actual file name at the end. I'm going to copy that, open up a Explorer window, and I'm going to paste that in here, hit enter, and then I go right into the, let's see, well, technically this is the project folder, uh, and where you need to go is inside that file access directory. So here's a project folder. I did have to go into the file access directory. It's called that because that's where, what my project's called. And you can see tacosaregood.txt. You can double click it and it should come up with nothing in there. It's a blank file. We'll change that soon, but it's important to see where it is. So I'm gonna run this program again. And it says it already exists. Okay. Maybe you only had an okay taco lunch, so your tacos are okay, and that's your file. That's fine, too. So notice this one already existed because I had ran the program several times. So I changed the file name, and file tacos are okay.txt was created, 
and of course absolute and relative path right here. So it was created because I changed the file name. So we're gonna go back to that directory. You may need to hit refresh uh, on this, but you can see the tacos are good, tacos are okay. So this is how to create files. And of course you're gonna to want to delete files, so we'll cover that next.